Mike Szymanski, Migratory Game Bird Management Supervisor, North Dakota Game and Fish Department. So we get out each May with four different crews of two people and we run transects that run all the way from South Dakota to Canada and we run a total of about 1,820 miles of these transects that we count from each side of the road an eighth of a mile, counting all wetlands and all waterfowl down to the species and social grouping. Well this year was a pretty interesting spring as always, our, our springs are always a little different. Um, coming out of winter we were certainly quite dry uh, after having a mostly open winter across the state, but it rained a fair bit in the 30 days leading up to our survey, so that, that kept it from being really dry. But at the time of our survey, which was between the 10th and 17th of May this year, um, wetland conditions were actually probably considered to be fair. Uh, we had a lot of new water on the landscape that really wasn't there when ducks were moving through. A lot of water in road ditches and some temporary water and a lot of basins that frankly didn't have much water in them. So at the time of our survey, wetland conditions were really not all that great. Um, our wetland count, our pond count of, of wetlands with water in them was right at about the long-term average. It was the 32nd highest out of 77 years. We do not survey for habitat conditions. That's something that um, bears out, you know, in CRP numbers or other agricultural statistics that keep track of breaking um, of grasslands. So this year on the duck side of things, numbers were down about 15% overall for ducks. Uh, we had about 2.9 million breeding ducks on the survey, which is down from 3.4 million. Uh, by and large, all species were either flat to down. So, um, you know, mallards, for instance, were down about 18 to 19 percent. Pintails were down about 29 percent. Um, blue winged teal down roughly 13 percent. And these species, you know, being down from last year is one thing, but when you compare it back to uh, what we consider to be one of our best periods for, for breeding ducks in North Dakota, uh, 1994 to 2016, we're, we're down a lot more than that. So overall, our duck species during that time period, you know, mallards, pintails, blue wings, gadwall, northern shoveler, are down anywhere from 25 to 48% from that 1994 to 2016 time period. That has a lot to do with loss of grass on the landscape, loss of CRP, loss of other perennial grasses that are used for nesting cover by ducks. In relation to that, 1994 to 2016 period that we consider to be our, our best of times for, for producing ducks in North Dakota. Our, our overall duck population count this year was at about 2.9 million. That's down from 5.4 million in 2002. That's our record high. So we're down considerably from our record high and, and we're getting into this realm of a, a lower average where we probably won't be above 3 million breeding ducks very often based on our landscape conditions. So one, one bright side of our survey this year that, while well, we didn't really pick it up during the survey, but we, we know it's been taking place throughout May is a fair bit of rain continuing. And that's really good for re-nesting opportunities and just nesting probability in general for ducks. Um, the, the rains we got were generally after ducks had settled on breeding territories or started you know, maybe even grouping up uh, where there wasn't any like pear territory and just kind of sitting around on big water, not doing anything. And once those smaller wetlands fill, those, those represent pear territories. And those pear territories help fill in with ducks. Those ducks then start nesting activities once they see a reasonable opportunity. So there should be a pretty good nesting effort by ducks this year in what habitat is available. And if we continue to get decent rainfall, there should be a really good re-nesting effort for birds that have nests that are destroyed by predators. So our Canada goose numbers were down a little bit on the survey from uh, 297,000 to about 251,000. Uh, one of the lower Canada goose counts we've had in a few years, but 
That's after many, many years of increasing Canada goose numbers. So we're actually okay with seeing that number go down. It is something that we, we do need to have as a, a little bit lower Canada goose number. Um, there's always pretty good Canada goose production and we think that'll probably bear out this year where um, those geese will do pretty well with these newly wet conditions. North Dakota has been carrying mid-continent duck populations for a long time. Uh, we've had really, really good habitat conditions in North Dakota through both uh, moisture levels. Uh, we were doing pretty well with uh, grassland cover. That's changed quite a bit. And then also a lack of red fox on the landscape has helped us be a true duck factory for mid-continent duck populations. And we are, we are losing that status a little bit. Uh, as we've lost our perennial nesting cover, um, it's pretty tough to carry populations when ducks don't have places to nest. It can be really hard to predict um, what our fall hunting is going to be like, you know, from what we see in the May survey. Um, we are seeing kind of this downhill slide on breeding habitat throughout the state, lower and lower duck numbers each year, and that's bearing out throughout the mid-continent region. So, not only our duck numbers, but also what's going on in Canada as well. And we won't have those numbers until August. Throughout the summer, we'll have our July duck brood survey, and we'll have a fall wetland survey that takes place in September to kind of give last looks at what production was like in the state, and then also what wetland conditions are like leading into the hunting season. Because as we've seen in the last two months, a lot can change with our, our wetland conditions. And it's going great right now, it's pretty wet, but it could dry up really fast. So it's always important to check back and see uh, what our surveys are showing us that we do throughout the year.